friends, welcome to Living a Country. Today we are touring a sweet, rustic country farmhouse home. This is owned by the Fernandez Family Farm on Instagram and they have opened up their beautiful home for us to tour today. I'm so excited to have them and for you guys to get new ideas and inspiration too. So without further ado, let's welcome them here today and tour their home. Jessica, first off, I want to say thank you so much to Holly from Living It Country Channel for featuring our home on her house tours. I'm so excited to show you guys my house today. This is our 1916 farmhouse that we have been updating into more of a modern farmhouse look and we've been working really hard on updating this house to our taste and our liking and we are on a mini farm a hobby farm that we live on here we've got some cows and some chickens and our farm dog tank and i just hope that you guys love our house today and i'm so excited to show you around i would say that our house is more of a minimalist modern farmhouse i don't have a ton of decoration um, i like to keep it more simple and less cluttered so over here i will start off by showing you guys this amazing repurposed wood wall that my husband made for me i think it's so cool so awesome and I just put our family photo in the center. I need to update it. We have a 18 month old daughter now that we need to add to that. But that was taken a couple of years ago here in our backyard. And then I just added a couple of farmhouse touches on either side. I actually got those from Dollar Tree. Um, if you follow my channel on YouTube, you know that I love a bargain and I love to get my decorations from Dollar Tree if I can or a buy nothing group here in my area and so the um, curtains I got off of Amazon and that hanging plant there is an artificial plant that I made with a terracotta pot and I made the plant hanger um, by myself and then on over here at our entryway my husband made this coat hanger for me he just got some repurposed wood from our barn and then he burnt it and sanded it down and then added some little hangers there that he got from home depot and then on top of the shelf i just have a couple little decorative items I got some succulents, some little plaques there, and a little sign, and a little lantern. And then we do use this for our coats, but I wanted it to be less cluttery for the video, so I took those down and just left my husband's hat there. And then down here, he also made this shoe rack for me, did the same thing, used repurposed wood, and burnt it and sanded it down, and then I just got a couple of bins from Dollar Tree there as well that matched the color scheme that I have going on. And then again, some more curtains from Amazon. I really liked that pattern. This is a little sign that I got from my Buy Nothing group here in my area. I thought it was super cute and fit really well in with my decor. My husband also made this little book box that I use to store our books in. Same um, concept again with just burning it and sanding it down. Over here on our couch, I got a couple of um, decorative pillows. 
off of Amazon also. Actually just the pillowcase covers and then I filled those in. This is a cow rug from Amazon as well. I thought it fit our house really well and our theme. And then just put a little um, throw blanket over there on the couch. So I'm gonna head this way. This is actually a family heirloom. That's another story for another day. But um, he's over there on that wall. I'm gonna pan over here to the dining room. This is our dining room. Our front room is more of a open concept here. Um, that is how the house was. I didn't, um, I didn't actually do anything here in the house, anything major with walls or anything like that. So um, we just put in some new flooring, new baseboards and new crown molding and painted. Um, this rug came from Amazon as well with our table here. And then I took a burlap runner that I got also from Amazon. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I like to get things from Amazon. It's super practical and easy to buy from. I got a couple cylinder vases from Dollar Tree and filled those with some local farm fresh flowers. Some tulips are in season right now. I love those for the springtime. And then over here is a chalkboard that my husband made with some leftover crown molding that he put together. And then just used some chalk paint and then I wrote on it with a chalk pen. And then up here is just a hanging planter again that I made with um, some Dollar Tree items, a terracotta pot, and some artificial ferns. And then this F over here is made out of plywood. My husband again did the burning and sanding and um, the F stands for Fernandez Family Farm, which is where we are. And we also have an Instagram and a YouTube channel for the farm as well. And then for all of my DIYs, if you like any of the DIYs that you're seeing, I have a DIY channel, Jessica, the Crafty Farmhouse Loving Mama. And that's where you can find detailed videos on how I make these um, DIYs. This rug here I actually made out of Dollar Tree rope. And I just did that recently here for the kitchen. And then over here, I used a Dollar Tree um, calendar and I cut out the pictures and just put them inside of some Dollar Tree um, picture frames. So I have the cow and the dog and the chickens and a goat there. I thought it turned out really cute there on the wall. And then over here, I just got one of these um, fruit hanging baskets off of our Buy Nothing group again, and some lettering, then a little farm to table sign above the stove. And then these stove cover tops are from Dollar Tree as well. It's a little rooster and a chicken coop there. And then this chicken measurement, kitchen measurement, sorry, sign. Um, that's also from Dollar Tree. And then that utensil holder I made out of an old coffee, coffee can and then some rope as well. I'm just gonna pan this way. These are some jars that I got off of our local Buy Nothing again. I love those to have on the counter. And then some more local farm fresh flowers, the little candle. 
And then these are farm fresh eggs here from our yard, from our homegrown eggs from our chickens. And we love to have fresh eggs every day. This little soap dispenser and soap holder I made out of Dollar Tree items. I used a candle holder and a little um, plate and then this super cute little creamer um, little jar I used and just put some artificial greenery in there and then the soap dispenser there. This little two-tiered tray I also made out of all Dollar Tree items. And then this cute little butter dish. My mother-in-law actually found that for me somewhere that she gave to me a year or so ago. So that is our kitchen. I'll pan out this way show you a little bit more but again I like to keep it very simple and very minimal I don't like to put a whole lot too much okay then I'm gonna turn this way kind of show the living room and dining room from this angle And then I turn this way, little key holder. And then here is our laundry room. And the cabinets, again, my husband did the same burning and sanding on those. This little sign I got off of Dollar Tree, again. Super cute, laundry room, wash, dry, and fold. And then up here on the washer and dryer, I made this little cloth overlay with three Dollar Tree um, rugs. And then I just used the little Dollar Tree bin there, super cute for lost socks that need to find their mates. That happens quite a bit around here. And then the little laundry guide I used a couple of jars for soap and then another little jar for the extra good smelling little um, smelly balls there and then some dryer sheets that I made that little tray. Um, I actually just used a tray that was from one of my kids toys that some of their toys came in. So there's the laundry room. And out this way and head back this way. I realized that I forgot one important item here above the TV. This is an old um, repurposed window that was left here at our house. It was inside of our barn. So my husband just put that up on the wall for me and I made this little wreath using Dollar Tree items again. So that's that. I'm gonna head back this way. This bathroom here is actually just about six months old. Um, we needed another bathroom, so my husband and one of his friends decided to put this bathroom in. And so I just have just the soap dispenser there and then over here on the rack, I have a cute little farmhouse container there for our extra rolls of toilet paper, candle, a little terracotta pot with some artificial greenery, and then a little Dollar Tree jar there with some Q-tips and Kleenex. So just a super cute little three-quarter bath there that, um, my husband put in and it just turned out amazing and it's so nice to have that extra bathroom because for the last two and a half years we just had 
only one bathroom and it just wasn't cutting it anymore. So now we're gonna head this way to the hallway. I'm gonna turn here into my daughter's nursery. Got this rug again off of Buy Nothing. So a lot of my decor that you see in my house is all gonna be either free or very budget friendly. This cute little wooden rocking horse was a gift for her. A little table with another gift. And then this little hanger here is repurposed. I found it again in our barn and I just glued, cleaned it up and glued on some artificial flowers to hang her coats or her little um, hair bands or headbands, those sort of things on there. So her crib and then above her crib, I also made this wreath using Dollar Tree items again. So it all comes out to be very budget friendly and very affordable. These two farmhouse um, shelves over here, my husband made out of repurposed wood again. I stained those and then he put them up with some brackets that I painted black. And then I just added some cute little decorative items on top of there. This little toy box, again, I got off of Buy Nothing as well. Little Dollar Tree container there with some of her books for her little reading corner with a cute little rocking chair that was a gift. And then over here, I just used some Dollar Tree placemats, believe it or not, for those um, decorative items there on the wall and then I made that little wreath again with Dollar Tree ribbon and artificial flowers. And then this cute little hanger here was a gift for her for Christmas. And then just her toy bin and a little basket for her shoes there by the door. So I'll come out here and kind of get more of a pano of her room. Super cute little room. I love the color scheme that I chose and it just turned out super cute. So here is our other bathroom. I hope it's not too loud with the fan going. It turns on at the same time as the light. So we'll start over here. And this is a little sign that my husband used repurposed wood again. And then I just used some um, stencils and painted some white lettering there on those. And then just the soap, another little artificial terracotta pot and a candle. And then I used these little Dollar Tree jars for our um, Q-tips and cotton swabs, and then a little Dollar Tree basket there for um, extra toilet paper and tissue, and then another one of those little signs, and then a little tin up there for decorative plant. And then over here is just our shower curtain I wanted to show off. It's super cute from Amazon. It says cattle feed and it's got a mama cow and a baby cow. Super cute and farmhouse looking. So, so cute. All right, I'm gonna head out this way and into the master bedroom. And I still need to stain the crown molding up top, so <laughs> pardon the Spots there, it does need to still be finished. But um, I made this cute little toolbox um, myself out of Dollar Tree items again. And then just a couple little decorative items there. 
and our cuckoo clock that was a gift also and then I made that little plant hanger again with artificial plant and then over here we used another repurposed old window and then I just hung my hat on there and then my husband actually put these shelves in they were not here when we bought the house and so on there you can see just a couple decorative items that sand jar there was actually one that my husband and I did together on our wedding day it was part of our ceremony and then just a little bird and another little plaque a couple little plaques and a little wooden love sign another little terracotta pot that I made with some burlap ribbon and an artificial succulent and then on the bed is a cute wooden tray again that my husband made he's super awesome with making these things for me and same technique and then I just put a little Bible there for reading a tea diffuser cup a little candle and then I just put together this cute little um, jar with some little artificial plants and then some cute little fairy lights and over on his side another terracotta pot that I made with a little decorative mom and dad the little pregnant belly and then I made this um, I lost my train of thought there. I can't think of the word. I made that there the other day just to hang above the bed as a little extra something there. And then over here is some of our wedding photos. And then right in the center is a little decorative piece that I made with little wooden rounds and some moss and little flowers there so that turned out really cute and then this little cubby up here is a little awkward and I wanted to fill it so I just put some terracotta pots with some artificial plants and then a little saying there so I'm gonna go this way and turn you can see a little bit better of the bedroom. Okay, and then there's one more extra little bonus room that I wanted to show. So I'm gonna head up this way. Head upstairs. This is my boy's space. So this is our old, wooden staircase with some old um, wallpaper here and then I just bought some little of these little carpet pads to go up the stairs because I just worry about my kids coming up here it's very steep so I just wanted to show this last bedroom up here it's so cute because it looks like a little barn so the white um, little picket fence here. This is a little swinging door at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna open that up. And then it's painted red like a little barn. So cute. I just wanted to share that. This little loft space for the boys and all their toys and playroom. Space here. So yeah, that's this is the last room. I'm gonna head back down the stairs and just do one last look through. Again, thank you so much to Holly for having me on her channel for showing our farmhouse. I'm so excited to show you guys. And don't forget to give her lots of thumbs up and likes. 
leave lots of comments, any comments you have or any questions you have, I will be happy to answer them in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed our farmhouse tour here today. And don't forget to head on over and check out our channels as well on YouTube. And I'm happy for you to come over and check us out on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you again, Holly. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you all so much for watching Live in a Country today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour, and I will see you guys later. Bye.